My name is Daniel Kempler. I'm a professor in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders. I've taught several courses, uh, predominantly in disorders of aging. Patients who undergo stroke, um, who suffer traumatic brain injury, have dementia, or voice problems as adults, what kinds of problems they have, um, and the kinds of rehabilitation that we can offer them. So the students in those courses learn about the disorders themselves, about the underlying physiology of the disorders, and what to do um, to get people back to full functioning and community participation. My background as an undergraduate is in linguistics, and I just loved studying language, and then all of a sudden I realized that language doesn't happen without the brain. And then I started studying a little bit about the brain and how the brain controls language, and that just got me going. And I was so interested in the control of language by the brain and how that goes awry and what we can learn about the brain and what we can learn about language um, by errors in the system, by brain damage, by language disorders. I was fortunate to observe both patients and clinicians working um, in speech pathology and decided to go on after my several degrees in linguistics to become a clinician and it gave me the opportunity to be hands-on and actually um, provide a source of help. One of the more rewarding groups of patients I worked with were those um, who had voice problems and for whatever reason had to have surgery on their larynx, on their vocal cords, and sometimes more severe problems where their larynx was removed. And with those patients without a what we call a voice box or a larynx at all, um, we were able to rehabilitate them through various means so that they could communicate freely on the phone. They could go play bingo. They could go um, take their grandchildren out. So to see patients go from uh, being diagnosed with something in the hospital and then be part of the rehabilitation team that gets them back functioning fully is, is you know, something that I will always have, you know, uh, that inspires me. The Communication Sciences and Disorders program here uh, is unique in a few ways. One is um, that it's in Boston. Boston affords our students and faculty incredible opportunities uh, both for research and clinical practice with the medical facilities in Boston. Uh, the faculty have the opportunity to collaborate with people at, at Harvard, at UMass, at Boston University, at Boston College. Very, very close relationship between the students and the faculty, and particularly the clinical faculty guiding the students. The students felt supported and, um, and then become relatively quickly very independent and very competent. Um, and to be able to see that process done in a supportive environment where people like to come to work. The students like to come to school and the faculty like to be there. That to me is unusual um, in my experience of, of many places of higher education and many programs.